50 bucks. If Jocko Willink was Arthur Morgan, you could be Master Chief, bro, for real. Jocko Willink, if he was in the Red Dead multiverse, would be... Probably a horse. <laughs> and if Jocko Willink was in the... Halo universe, Halo multiverse, he would be a... Fusion coil. Grenade. <laughs> But he doesn't have a real personality. He is not a real human. And he's not... Um, you know what another thing is? Do you, know, uh, do you know the Afghanis? They... If I say the word rape in a news... No, you just... You know Afghanis like rape boys? I, I didn't know that. Uh, we've heard from... I mean, we've talked to people who have been in the situation where... Um, uh, I mean, one of our someone we someone we know, um, and we've talked to soldiers and stuff. We know some Afghanis. We know some Afghanis, but there's one guy who said um, he heard screaming from another room, and he walked in, and there was like a 14 year old boy with a prolapsed asshole, because the Afghani, the the people that they that the U.S. collaborates with in Afghanistan, the Afghanis that are friendly to us have, uh, they keep little boys around and rape them. And there's not, and th there's not one, I don't think there's one instance of a U.S. Marine like doing anything to fix that. They'll tell their commanding officer and their commanding officer will say there's nothing we can do about it. So, if, so that's what, so if, uh, if and I, I'm sure Jocko Willink has seen something like this. How about this though? If you're so tough that you see kids getting raped and have prolapsed assholes, if you're so tough that um, your action movie superhero uh, superstar move is you tell your commanding officer and nothing happens and then you don't do anything about it, um, you're the toughest guy in the world, you're the most badass motherfucker on the planet, you're David Goggins, you run 40 miles, and you're fucking badass. And you're the toughest motherfucker on the planet. And I'd hate to be trapped in a dark alley with you, David Goggins. Or fucking Jocko Jackoff, fucking cock, cockwink, cockwinker, whatever that guy's fucking name is, Nuggethead. I like Nuggethead. And uh, the fact that they're the fact that they're so well reasoned and, and critically think so much, and they and they sort of they say brave, bold things that need to be said, and they really put their they really put their um uh, their careers they put their careers at risk in order to. Um, Oh, no, wait, they are more concentrated on selling energy supplement powder. I forgot. That's someone else I was, that's someone else I was thinking of. Um, they never say anything controversial. They never say anything truly controversial. They never say anything truly controversial because it would jeopardize the sale of their supplements. And how about this? I, 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 bet, I bet my fucking life, I bet my fucking life that if... If, some, if Jocko Willink was posed with a real, a real, real scenario where Jocko, if you say this, you're going to lose your supplement deal, whatever it was, and it was something that Jocko felt was true, there's not, there's not a chance in hell, there's not a chance in hell that Jocko Willink would risk his supplement business or his CrossFit gadget business, whatever, whatever one of his hundreds of businesses that somebody else set up for him, that he was able to market his name and his, his likeness in order, in order to sell a fucking Under Armour condom or whatever the fuck crap, whatever Chinese crap, whatever 3D printed crap, whatever powdered crap he's selling. Guys, milliondollarcaffeine.com, now would be a perfect time to log on to milliondollarcaffeine.com. You can't get this stuff anywhere else. But I, I promise you, I guarantee, I know in my bones, I know in my soul that if, if, if something like that for him was really at risk, he would fold. He would fold without hesitation. No. That's a folder. And that's what happens when you're four feet tall and you have, a chip on, you, have a, you have such a chip on your shoulder that you need to get to damn near 300 pounds. Uh, we got retod with the 20 bucks. Oh, is he, is he saying to stop bombing uh, Gaza? Uh, we Maybe I was wrong. 
We get retard with the 20 bucks. That Chinese guy who chain smokes cigarettes. Hold on a second. See? And I was listening to combat experiences. I'm going to want to we want to figure out uh, a peaceful solution to this. We're going to help you out and we're going to starve and and crush Hamas. And oh, you don't want to get starved and crushed? Cool. Come to this location at this time. And I know it sucks. But that is how you actually get the other side to see your perspective a little bit as well. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. We'll edit that out later, guys. Uh, we get retawed with the 20 bucks. That Chinese guy who chain smokes cigarettes while running marathons is cooler than David Goggins. Guys, milliondollarcaffeine.com. Now would be a perfect time to support Israel or Palestine. At checkout, you decide where you want your money to go. I give you my personal, I call it my golden guarantee. I call it my golden guarantee that all the profit from this, it's not going to go into my watch collection or my car collection. It's going to go to whatever side in the war that you want it to. Um, we got Doom with the 20 pounds. Can we get a compilation of all the no-no people singing Imagine in support for Israel? Did they do that? <laughs> I mean, this is from eight years ago, but seeing these faces, yeah. I mean, this is, that's just so funny to me. Did they do, is there an, is there a, is imagine for Israel? There has to be, or just maybe imagine. Uh, we got Joshua Taylor with the 20 pounds. Hey Sam, can you give a shout out to Jonathan? Marquette. Jonathan Timmy Taylor, shout out to you, my brother. Your TED Talk inspires him every day. Jonathan Marquette, shout out to you, my guy. Uh, we got Oak Spear with the 20 bucks. Look up Sergeant First Class Charles Martland, please. I want to see, see an Israeli Imagine cover so bad, man. Uh, Fuck. Fire. It's not, I mean, it, if, it, if they did it already, it would have come. They'll do it eventually. They have to do it eventually. Okay, look up what? Sergeant First Class Charles Martland. Is that you spell Sergeant? Sergeant? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Martland. Martland. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, they decided not to discharge him? Did he die? An army green beret now has a chance. Oh, he remains in military. Yeah. To appeal his discharge. He's being penalized because he did the right thing. So we've got to defend him. The uh, the mother and and her son came to our camp. He chained the boy to his bed for seven to ten days. When the mother tried to intervene and save her son, the Afghan local police commander struck the mother in the face. So when they came to our camp, they both showed obvious signs of of abuse yeah. and uh, came to us. Asked, this listen, if something if something bad is happening, this is why. People, when people wonder why you're supposed to be strong or wonder why you're supposed to have a gun and they'll look at, they look at somebody that's lifting weights or buying ammunition and they're like, what could that possibly be for? It's because you have a small dick? It's because you want to feel better about your small dick? Or whatever. Those people will <coughs> never... They, they don't understand that, like, the world is you. Like, what is the, the, on, the only thing that drives what is happening in the world is what other people like you are doing. Um, and, uh, as well as Martland, this, well, yeah, this is, this is, this is, in my opinion, this is heroic to, to defy, uh, the chain of command to, um, you know, set, set, uh, an injustice right. That's what you should be doing. That's what should be happening in the world. Not this. <laughs> Imagine my black ass. <laughs> I'm bisexual. And we're talking okay, hot. Or twins. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this guy. These are all verified AIDS hackers. I <laughs> uh, wish you could get shot again. <laughs> uh, 
No, 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 no. I am that. I don't know what I'm doing. Is it? Um. No, that's not the guy that got. Okay, the the guy that looks like him, Isaiah Washington, is the guy that looks like him that got fired for calling somebody a f bomb. Damn. But that's not uh, Idris Idris Elba. Idris Elba did not get fired for calling somebody that. So he can be an imagined. Yeah. Uh, we got Chuck Spiegel with twenty bucks. To express a dislike for el edgy anti-hero shows like Breaking Bad and Peaky Blinders, do you feel the same way about The Sopranos? Uh, it's a different show. It's not quite the same. This uh, the Sopranos. It's um. I know Chuck doesn't like it. Charles has talked about it being like uh, violence porn, which it is. It's like there's a there's a pornographic aspect to some you know someone getting shot.